Good morning, everyone. It is Captain Cowboy here with another live stream. Today we've had, well, first I'm going to start off with my honest review of Guns of Glory. So, you might be asking yourself, um, you know, why are you reviewing Guns of Glory now? Well, after I quit, you know, sitting back watching a lot of things unravel, you know, honestly thinking, you know, how is my time spent here watching and, you know, playing this game? So, a lot of the different things come to mind when it comes to, you know, why did I quit this game? Well, there's only really one thing that came to mind. But, how can you... So, the spending is honestly just insane. Sitting here talking to a C-39, and he doesn't know how to increase his march capacity. I mean, I've always helped people, but... This game, there is no, no guide to it. There's no instructions that come with this game. There's nothing in this game that tells you what to do, how to be better, how to be stronger. It is literally only buy this, buy that, buy this now, buy that. You wait some time, let's say you don't spend that money. They say, well, you didn't buy this. So let's go ahead and lower the price of this. Now buy it. Now buy this. I remember I played King of Avalon right when basically the Hope Gems just came out for King of Avalon. Now, in Ho uh, King of Avalon, it has a different name. I believe they're called Valor. Yeah, they were Valor Stones. Um, when I bought that, they came in packs of, I believe, like five. Let's take a look and, let, you know, let, let's compare it to packs that we have here. Granted, this is going to be like 10 or $5 packs because I don't spend anymore. But, um, wow, all these things that I've never seen before. That just shows you what happens when you stop playing this game. 200 fragments for $10. That is insanely cheap. 1,700 craftsman tools. Two retribution equipment chests. You know, this game has gotten so much cheaper recently. It's just not even funny. Alright, two nobility gemstone chests. You have a definite chance of getting, like, a fifth of a raw justice gemstone. Now, you can literally get a fifth, so... For ten dollars, you're getting two fifths of a raw justice gemstone chest. So for fifteen dollars, you get an entire raw justice gemstone chest, uh, frag, um, gemstone, which is a lot better. It's ten percent better than a hope gemstone. So on the other hand, I spent two thousand dollars to buy one valor gemstone, which is the equivalent of a raw hope. So, $2,000 compared to $15, and that $15 is getting you something so much better. And when I bought my hope gemstones, there was zero chance, there's, you know, zero definite chance of me getting anything. Like, the way they had it set up is, you can either get a raw Valor gemstone, you can either get the raw, um, Valor Stone, like the the square one, sorry, um, you know the second one down, you could get one of those for a, uh, Valors, or you just get refining gems. And a lot of the time, what happened is you just get the refining stones. It was such a low chance. It was literally like getting a very low chance of that raw basic nobility gemstone. And there were no fragments. I spent probably five thousand dollars and only got six. So 
that's what 50 of these packs of the hundred dollars and I got six gemstones I'm not spending any money now but that was King of Avalon now you know the game has changed and when they release something new you know it's expensive it's really expensive um and now it just gets so much cheaper as time goes on and that's great and all but the thing is if you're big and you want to you know actually be good and be competitive in this game you can't do that you can't do that because the second you stop spending immediately as something new comes out you know you're lost you're out of it there's no way for you to win this game and there is no winning this game. But if you wait, let's say you're not a good, you know, strong spender. Let's say you wait a couple months, you're going to get killed for several months. And you're just going to get just destroyed. Um, but after you wait a couple, like a little bit, then things will start coming out. And they'll start coming out a little cheaper. And it will be easier for you to attain them. But, besides that, like, for non-spenders, it's great and all. The thing is, you, no matter what, no matter what happens, you will never be strong enough to compete. It is literally a walk in the park for a big to destroy and walk over you. But at the same time, the bigs are going to have a difficult time. They're going to have to spend even more money in order to kill you. To you, it as a small person, it'll seem like you're getting walked. And to a big, it'll look like it's costing them more money and troops lost. Um, to try to kill you. So, besides that, it really comes down to the rest of the game is all about your personal interactions with people. And I'll get into a lot more about that later, about, you know, let's say, even if you are a big, like myself, I I'm a big, however, I stop spending. Like, when you go to the leaderboards, I'm not, I'm not a huge man anymore. You know, my power is still decent. I'm still like able to be seen on the top of the leaderboards. That's neat. I like that. But yeah, I mean, you come over to air super level and then just gone. But besides that, you know, it's all about who you talk to and like who you know in this game. And it's all about if you're having positive or negative react um, interactions with these people. You know, is your kingdom peaceful? Is your kingdom just constant warfare? So, you know, that all impacts, you know, your game and your level of enjoyment. And, you know, in King of Avalon, I was in a very, very unbecoming kingdom. You know, we were constantly fighting. There was never any peace. And with all that pain and suffering and all that money wasted at the same time it was also extremely enjoyable and it was extremely enjoyable because that I was able to come together with all those around me and that's why I came to King uh, Guns of Glory is because all of these people that I met fighting to survive in a kingdom that was so toxic and so cancerous I made a lot of good fun friends and it was a lot of fun doing so now the thing is that well I'm you know it's not fun with my interactions of those trying to kill me but it was those around us that were also in the same position which really helped me and you know made us come together so I mean that, that was fun and all but 
now what it's like is in Guns of Glory everything is so peaceful like I am creating all of these different um, interactions with people trying to ensure that we can stay survive and stay you know stay um, stay together this is literally the exact same I don't, I don't get this so besides that I mean just You know, it, it just, there's no fighting anymore. There's no, there's no points in this game as, as anymore where, like, you're fighting for survival, you're coming together, you're having these crazy wars. Because this game is so expensive, no one wants to utilize their expensive castles. You know, when I was in playing King of Avalon, I had one march. Because if I had anything more than that, and I forgot to shield for a day, it would be gone. I was at a stronghold level 24, and I was not increasing beyond that, simply because I couldn't keep resources long enough. We hadn't learned all the tactics, but in the end of the day, the mechanics made sense. It was more about your statistics and your stats than it was about your troop tiers and how many troops you were sending in a march. But now... The mechanics are all gone. Now it makes no sense. What is going on? So, like, it, it just it doesn't make sense anymore. This game. Like, it, it truly does not. And, I mean, it's it just, it's a shame that way. Because, now it's literally all about how much money you're spending. So, it, it doesn't make, you know, nothing that we're doing now makes any sense. It's literally just about how much money you spend. Like, you see, I'm, I'm out of it, and I just get walked. I got walked. One million troops lost to this guy. But if you look at it, like, we're not too far off. You know, my guard's better than his guard. Here. My guard's better than his guard here. You know, with, uh, Duke of Buck, um, with Duke and with this, uh, orange guy. And then everything else is equal. And we look at, it like, their ship, and it's like, it's not that far off. Then you come down here and how? You know, maybe we had a lot of treasure. Maybe you had like a stat bonus. But no, there's just so many new things that come out in the two months that you take off from spending. So, like, it, it's, it's not even comparable. Like, I only beat him in Battlefield Treatment. That's the only statistic that I had on the guy. Everything else, though, he's got all new types of gear. And... Yeah, we might both be C-35s, we both might be sending T-11s in battle, but I've got a million troops at, in my own castle, and he's still able to walk me in one march. So this game has literally lost any sense of net necessity towards what what you're doing. And with that, I mean, it just it's not fun. It's literally only about... The only thing that you could find enjoyable is maybe not spending as much. Well, probably not even spending at all, because you're going to be in the same position regardless. So unless you plan on spending $40,000 on your account, $50,000 on your account, you're not going to be in any position to survive in this game. So... This concludes my review, but let's go ahead and let's talk about some other things about this game.